Hi, I'm Jamison Chapman with StepCG. We're an elite Cradle Point partner, and I'm here today to talk to you about some of their hardware. Here in front of me, I've got the IBR 900. This is a ruggedized device for in-vehicle use, as well as SCADA and other applications. We're going to go over some of the components today. If you open up the box here, you're going to see that you've got instructions to download the Cradle Point Verify app. And this app's going to make it very easy for you to install this uh, and load it into your NetCloud account. We'll go over that in another video. Here we've got our hardware, the IBR 900. It's a semi-ruggedized device with military specs, so it's very hardened and, and rugged, can take some abuse. If we look here, you'll see that it's got three connectors on this side, two for LTE, one for GPS. On this side, you'll see that we've got two Wi-Fi ports, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. We also have two Ethernet ports, LAN and a WAN, which are reconfigurable, as well as your power and GPIO option. Now, this not only supplies power, you can also do input and output sensing as well. Here I've got a vehicle power adapter. You can see that it just clicks into place and locks in with the tang. Let's go over the antennas. So if we continue to open the box and move the insert, we'll see that we've got the GPIO cable, and this is to hardwire into the vehicle. You'll see that you've got a red and black, and then an orange and blue for your inputs and outputs. You also have your two Wi-Fi antennas and two LTE antennas. Now let's go ahead and install these. Go to the LTE side. We'll put one on the main. And we're just installing these finger tight so we don't cause any damage. And one on the auxiliary. We'll flip it over. And we'll attach the Wi-Fi antennas. There are also external antennas that you can utilize for these, which we'll go over in another video. So here I've got my IBR 900 all set up and ready to go, but I need to connect it, so let's put a SIM card in. It's really easy to, to put these SIM cards in. There are two screws on the side. Let's remove these two screws. and then remove the door. We want to be careful when removing the door. There's a little tab that depresses the sensor, so let's not break that. <clears throat> let's grab a SIM card. Here we've got 2FF SIM card. This just pops out of the card holder like this. And you can see that there is a notched end and a chip on the underside. If you look here, you'll see that there's an instruction. You want to put the notch end in first with the chip face down. And we're going to load that into SIM card slot number one. Press it in and you'll hear a little click. Once it's clicked in, you know it's locked. Let's take our SIM door and we'll put it back on. You must put the SIM door back on because there's a sensor behind it and it will not turn on without this door. Very little screws and hard to lose, so be careful. So we'll finger tight those in place so we don't break the door. Reattach our cellular antennas. hook up our power, and we're ready to go. Now this does have a firewall built in, the 940 megabit firewall, so it's definitely able to handle what you need. Uh, definitely wanting to talk with you about this type of solution and get this into your fleet or into your solutions. So please give us a call, and we look forward to working with you. Have a great day.